Hello, good afternoon, every <laughs> everybody. Started sewing them. Um, how are you today? Um, hi, Cherry and Sue and Brenda and Sharon and uh, Angela, Colette, Sally and Carol, Ray, hello, and Jan and Jane and Pauline and Angela and Karen and Shirley and Anne Marie on YouTube and Janet on Facebook. <laughs> I think Facebook is playing a little bit of catch up. What have you been up to? What's your weather like? Where in the world are you? Bombarding you with questions. Quite, quite nice here today. Eventually, a bit cold this morning. In fact, freezing this morning, put the heating on. And all of a sudden, it's glorious sunshine, and here we are in the shed. Uh, purple parcel for Jan. Fabulous. Hello, Tracy and Sharon and Mickey. Hello. Hi, Rose. Warm in South Carolina. Um, hi, Angela, Dion, Evelyn, and uh, Daniela, and Marion, and Medjuli. Uh, Laura says it's so sunny there. It's about time, isn't it? About, about time we had summer. It's been threatening to be summer for a few days now. Um, hi, Teresa and Maria in Norway. Claudine says it's beautiful in Devon. Good. I'm glad it's nice for you down there. Uh, hello, Dominica. Hello, Anne. A sunny afternoon, says Cynthia. Lovely. Pamela, hello. And Melissa, hello to you. Um, back after a few weeks, says Francesca, after battling the jolly old breast cancer. And I went, oh, good for you, Francesca. Yes. Yes, got my results and all clear. Jolly good. Um, Lavinia, hello. <laughs> Bloodwim's got a dukey. We won't be seeing you for a few weeks, then we'll be Bloodwim. Um, Susan and Susan, two Susan together. Has anybody not received their crate and craft order? Um, they, the ones that were... The pre-order ones, the extended delivery, went out yesterday, picked up this morning. So they should be with you any time now. All of the orders have now been completed, so everything's gone. Um, so the first ones went out straight away, and then it was on to the um, delayed dispatch, which should have been the fourth, but it was delayed by a day. But they're on the way. Everything's gone. Hope you like them. Um, hi, Rita. Been looking... Uh, crazy looking skies and some because the smoke is in Canada. Oh, oh really? Oh, I suppose you're not that far from Canada. Oh, yes, you are that far. I bet you are. I don't know. Uh, hi, Fee. Sunny in Edinburgh. Um, nice to have you back, Chris Anne. And another Anne. Nice for you to join us too. Thank you. Um, hi, Linda. <whistles> oh, I'm whistling. I think my dog's at the door and the door's shut. <laughs> better not, better not whistle. Um, hi, Jilly. It's sunny in Florida. Lovely. She's gone again. It might have been a chicken. Don't know. The followers everywhere at the moment. Anyway, anyway, I've got a few new bits and bobs to show you. And we're going to do a recessed zip. You know, the kind of zip that you have in the top of a tote bag? Because I've had quite a few questions saying, how do I do it? And it's something that you can fit into most styles of bags, certainly tote bags, as you're making them. So I thought I'd just do the recessed zip. This is a recess zip if you didn't know what one was. So it literally sits inside the lining and opens up. So you've got a nice wide access area into your bag. And then you can close that and it gives a nice clean line from the outside of the bag, but it's nice and secure. Um, the bag itself will be um, on YouTube straight after we finish here. So that's going on at five o'clock. So there is a future tour full tutorial on how to make said bag, but we're just going to look at the zip section today. Um, hello, Daryl. It's raining and cold in Australia. Oh, what's a shame. Uh, hello, Victoria in South Texas. Cool in Billingham, is that it? Um, cloudy and cool in the Kingdom of Five. Everything's good here. Thank you very much, Sarah. Chaos there, but getting bits done. Lovely. Um, hi, Anne. Hi, Hannah, Hannah J. Oh, good. I'm glad you enjoyed. Thank you. Hi, Maureen. Valerie, hello. Left Lincolnshire for holiday in Corfu. Oh, and it's beautiful in Corfu. How lovely. I don't think we'll get holiday this year. Um, we have new Aurofil threads. Um, so we've got the, the basic colours. Um, oh, I've got a knot in that one. There we go. That, first of all, we liked. And secondly... Um, are going to be the most useful for you as well. Just going to snip that off there because that's not very good, is it? Right. Uh, so white and black, obviously, we have there. Um, I'm not going to take you through a whole load of threads. I just wanted to explain a little something 
about them. Well, we're here. That's a bit of a long way off, isn't it? Just going to zoom in a little bit, so excuse any kind of wobbling while we just do this. That's better. Um, these are 1300 meter spools and one of the things about RFL, we know, we know it's good quality, don't we? We, we? we appreciate it's one of the best qualities of threads that you can possibly invest in. But I just wanted to explain why. These threads are two ply. Most threads, they're 50 weight, so it's the most commonly used weight. But most threads, <coughs> excuse me, 50 weight threads are three ply. So these are finer. And the benefit of having a finer thread is it is going to sit flatter inside your seam. Um, also, it's a strong thread because it's made from Egyptian cotton that comes from a specific area at the side of the River Nile and they use long strand threads. So it's better for your machine because you don't get lint, uh, a lint build up and it gives a really strong thread whether you're quilting, dress making, bag making, whatever you're making. Now when you consider how much there is on the roll, this is a partly used um, Gutterman thread. Love Gutterman thread, nothing wrong with those, but that's a thousand metres. So that goes to show how fine this thread is because there's 300 metres more on this than there is on this. And with the smaller spools that we have, which are 200 metres, I go, we've got loads of colours, I can't, I can't take you through all of them. Um, but those are all the 200 metres. Something like this, again a Gutemann one, is... Uh, 100 meters and this one which is a metler is 150 meters so they all look the same but because you've got the finer threads with the orophil you've got a lot more on there and in fact one of those plus one of those so that's 30 no one of those what's that what was I going to do with that that's a thousand 1150, 1250, those three still aren't as much thread as you get on one of those. So again, it's, it's an expensive thread because of the quality of it, but do bear in mind you get an awful lot of thread on those reels. So just, just wanted to explain that because you're going to look at the price of those and think, why is that so much more than everything else? So again, it's quality and it's the amount that you get there. So I just wanted to explain. Um, hello Doreen, late to the party today she said. Um, once in Norfolk with my sewing friend Linda who also watches. Hello Lynn and Linda, welcome along. Um, a link for the thread. I'll have to do it afterwards, I can't do it now. But if you go to my website to debbieshawsewing.com and just put thread into the search bar and it'll come up uh, in there. Hello Nancy, how are you? Oh, thank you very much, Andrew. Thank you. All right, new fabrics. Kim's only just put these on. I was going to make a bag out of these and I didn't realise she was going to put them on so soon, so that's why you've got the tree fabric. These are canvas. Isn't that fabulous? Look at the colours of that. Oh, that's, that's a rather good match. Not doing that. Um, <laughs> seen enough of my threads now. But isn't that beautiful? And it's soft and lightweight, and it is perfect for um, for dressmaking. Maybe a lightweight jacket, some summer pants, palazzo trousers, for homewares, for cushion covers, and that I think would make the most amazing tote bag. Can't remember what it's called, but if you look at new arrivals on the website, um, oh yeah, Karen, good. I'm glad you've got it. Have a look under new arrivals, and you'll see it there. But although it's it's called canvas, it's not heavy. Sometimes I think um, the word canvas sounds like something that you paint on and it's not like that at all. It's very soft, very fluid, but it's a very strong fabric as well. And we've got two colours. And I honestly don't know which one I like best. I think it's this one. Isn't that unusual? Isn't that upside down? That's better. Um, and again, just really soft, fresh, thinking garden furnishings maybe, simple cushion covers. But it, I think it looks really expensive as well. I think it's the colours. The colours are expensive looking colours, if that makes sense, don't you think? 
uh, making a summer tote bag with one of the canvases right now. Oh, lovely. Um, it would, that would make a lovely Madison bag, Michelle, you're right. Hi, Sarah. Uh, hello, Lorraine. Chris Ann says, I love sewing with canvas, lightweight canvas even better. Um, yeah, that's, that is lovely. Right, and then we've got some cottons. These are fun. Now, this, this is, I've never been to a festival in my life, but I always think of festivals when I see wellies. Just, just pink wellies. It's art gallery fabric, so it's a premium quality, quality cotton. And we do have a bit of a collection going on here. Um, this is Rain or Shine, it's called. Pretty, isn't it? Just really, just really lovely, simple fabric. Um, that's that one. And again, all from the same collection by Art Gallery Fabrics. So we've got rainbows. And, oh, look, lupins. <laughs> my lupins look amazing. I'm so proud of my lupins. Uh, frogs with crowns on. Do you see something funny while you're there? I was taking some pictures, thinking about the flowers in my garden. So hang on a minute. Because I have the most beautiful poppies. They are huge. So there's poppies. Oh, more poppies. Chick bond. And I've just stood right in front of me as I'm taking pictures of my flowers. Hilarious. And this is the final one from this collection. Uh, Darshan says, loves, loves art gallery fabrics. Janet's making 60 degree diamond shapes for a tumble pattern. 11, 111 cut out so far, wow. Making peg bags, these would make nice peg bags, wouldn't they, Pauline? Um, anything garden themed really, but they're just fresh and, and spring-like and, and fun, and they work really well together, but they work just as well on their own. <laughs> they are very cute chickens. That was Bluebell, she's really cheeky. If you open the door, she'll come straight into the house and poo. Um, let's say, I, know, I bought them um, three years ago from the garden centre. It was only one, it was about that big. And it was, I thought it was dead by the time I got it home. I was so disappointed. And then every year they just kind of get bigger and bigger. They're about 10 times the size they were when I first got them. They're amazing. Um, hippie floor pillow. Oh, that's it. Oh, that'll take you back, Nancy, to the 60s. My poppers have gone, had none this year. Oh, that's a shame, John. That might have just gone crazy. Um, I have to draw the line somewhere as people go. <laughs> You've got rather a lot of fabric, haven't you, Sarah? But it, uh, it's insulation, you know, and, and in these days with all of the energy prices going up, it's important to insulate your house. And what better to insulate your house with than fabric? Like we need an excuse. <gasps> Debbie Poppy fabric, that's a thought. What am I doing? I'm doing that. Um, we love anything with sewing machines and, and stitch-related jargon, do we not? Love is the needle that knows how to mend. Happiness lives here. Sewing tomato. Oh, to sew. Um, <laughs> that's my, my number plate. Um, time to stitch. That's a pretty one. Look, we've got uh, embroidery threads on that one. And who hasn't got a pair of stalk scissors? The dark plum canvas reader. Yes, I can. If I can see where I've put it, there we go. So these two, look at the salvage. Riley Blakes, um, Stitchy Birds, this one's called. There's no birds on that one, but this, the collection is Stitchy Birds. So it's just, just a few more to show you. I told you, we keep getting all these new fabrics in, it's fabulous. Uh, Jennifer's my house is well insulated. Well, good for you, Jennifer. Good for you. That's very astute of you. Oops. I think everybody's house should be well insulated. There you go, Rita. Um, so again, it's like a, it, it is aubergine, it absolutely sums it up. I'm not sure what colour it's officially called. Have a look on the website. Um, and it's got these orange kind of stamens there as well. Oh, Belinda's in Gibraltar. What's it like over there? Um, Macau. Not at the moment, Darshani. We have, uh, sorry, Darsh. 
Gosh, no. Um, we haven't got any plans for Macau at the moment. We haven't got any room. Hmm. Uh, thank you, Cathy. Oh, glad you like them, Nancy. Right, I've got more. We have more. Well, that might go with them. We've got some planes as well. We've got quite a lot of planes now. And um, some of them are quite similar. So the plan is next time I mean come down in the office, um, don't go down very often now, but next time we are down there, we're going to get all the planes and take a swatch and then show you them all together so you can see what the difference between them all is. Um, but have a look at those. Uh, if you go to the, the fabrics at the top of the page and then in the drop-down menu, just go to plain fabrics. Um, we've got organic fabrics. There's Rose and Hubble on there. There is um, Make and Believe and Visage and... There's poplins on there as well. It's just, uh, there's loads of them, so I'm, I'm sure you'll be able to find a colour to match something or other. Look at these ones. Um, oh, it's an otter. <laughs> otter? Beaver. Otter. What am I on about? It's more like a meerkat. Meerkat. Um, the water hole, this one. Look at him. And definitely meerkat. And giraffes and lions. The patchwork one's quite well. They're both nice, aren't they? But I like this because you could just put some wadding behind that and and sew around it. Looks like you're stitching in the ditch, um, and you you can create a patchwork quilt really simply. Hello, Julie. Laura's got double insulation. That's that's wise though, isn't it, Laura? To to have to have this kind of insulation. It's nice to have a, an insulation that you can actually sew with as well, but there again, when, when you use it, you're going to have to rebuild up your insulation. Um, oh, Leanna, really sending positive thoughts to you. Let's get you better. It's raining in Spain. Is that on the plane? Sarah has to buy planes to go with all the clothes of fabric I already own. Uh, PVC fat quarter. At the moment, Maxine, um, I think we bought the lot from our suppliers. We, we, we haven't got a supplier at the moment. So I'm just waiting for them to get, get it back in stock. So I've no idea how long it'll be, I'm afraid. Um, <laughs> Irene's got triple insulation. You did tell me your roof was giving way at one point, Irene. These are some of the new planes that we have. Now, these are the extra wide. So they're 150 centimetres wide. And there's a cream which is a lovely buttermilk colour. I'll just open one up to show you how wide 150 centimetres is because it's quite quite wide. So for backing fabrics, lining fabrics, but it is um, cotton. So, you know, you can use this as your planes if you're patchworking and quilting. Um, oh, oh, Nancy. Nancy says, I must brag. Chastity just... You're not bragging. Post, post another post, you've switched yourself off. Um, oh, bonjour, Jan. From Le Moussin, are you saying today? Yes, Jan, I'm going to put a zip. We're going to talk um, recessed zips like this. So I'm just going to do the zip section because uh, people have been asking me, how do, I, how do I do a recessed zip? Is it difficult? No, it's not. It's quite simple. But the rest of the bag, because it takes it took me a while to do that, will be in a video which is going live at five o'clock today on YouTube if you wanted to make the rest of the bag as well. Hello, Patrice. Hi, Gillian. So we've got a bright orange. That's brand new for you. These are 150 wide again. And a burgundy 150 wide so we've had similar colors in the regular width but not 150s so that's the first time we've seen those so i just sort of show you those so under new arrivals or under the planes um oh chastity is a licensed barber and opened her own shop tell her congratulations from us well done you must be so proud um so yeah you boast away um Thanks, Sarah. Irene's sewing in the garden. Lovely. So, recessed zip. And normally, with a zip, I'll chop the ends off, the metal bits. But I'm not going to on this one. Don't need to. I know I'm not going to sew over them. Um, 
but I'm thinking as well maybe you've got a metal zip which obviously you can't trim down. I don't normally use metal zips because um, I like to cut them down to size because I find it more cost effective but if you d I haven't got one but if it was a metal zip you can't chop the ends off so that's one of the reasons I'm not going to do that. Um, so if I just show you inside here um, I've got a tab on one end the closed end of the zip extends by a couple of inches from the edge of the fabric. I mean, there's different ways of doing this. Um, I've done them before where this end of the zip goes into a tab as well. But this time the open end is going to go straight into the end of the zip panel. And then when you open this up, that's what gives you that quite wide area. Um, the longer you extend this, the wider you can open it but I think for a bag of this kind of size just a couple of inches off the end is absolutely fine and again that opens completely anyway so it doesn't really matter whether you put a tab on this end or you do the same technique as I've used with this one so that goes oh this fabric's back in stock again by the way the red mulberry trees linen canvas that one is so first thing I need to do is to switch the eye and not have a drink water um, <laughs> my brother keeps telling me when I die he's going to open a haberdashery store and live very comfortably. I, I have said so when I die, um, I want on my tombstone, tomb, so I can go in a tomb, um, something like, here she lies unravelled. <laughs> now she's threadbare. Something, that, something to make people smile, I think. What would you have on yours? Oh, I'll tell you what I, 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 I would kind of like, and this is never going to happen. Here lies billionaire Debbie Shaw. I'd like that on my tombstone. Not going to happen. Not, 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 not in this world. No, I'm fine. Absolutely fine, Sarah. I don't get any fever. I may, I may have my voice going a little bit because I've been in a lot of filming. And I do get a bit croaky, but um, no, I'm fine. Thank you. Um... Oh, well done. Yes, tell her, tell her, Joan Dice's mummy skits a friend, did it all herself. Tell her congratulations from all of us, Nancy. Yeah, you must be really proud of her. Uh, Monday morning to see so Good, let us know what happens, Leanna. Greystone words, if I only had another two weeks, he'll, that's a good one. <laughs> um, that, yes, I think that would be fun. Oh, I don't know about two straps for a crossbody. You could put the straps at the end, I think, and have one long one for a crossbody. I wouldn't have two for a crossbody myself. Uh, Carol says, she would have died sooner, but she's in the middle of a row. <laughs> Knitting reference. Uh, Blodden says, here she lies, creases and all. Oh, I love these. Uh, here lies Jilly. She ate so many pickles, we're surprised she isn't buried in a jar. <laughs> well, you, didn't, you didn't bury yourself. <laughs> um, hi, Jean. Um... <laughs> oh, if you've got any more, That's, this is this is a happy conversation, isn't it? What would you have in your grave? What would you have in your grave to make people smile? <laughs> um, think of Spike Milligan who said, "I told you I was uh, yes, it was, wasn't it? That was funny. I told you I was ill." <laughs> yeah, Sheila just said the same thing. Um, and that is going to be next month's half yard project so it'll be a hat with net protection um for the kids and there will be a, a visor because we've done sun hats before we did a reversible sun hat a few years ago um so it's going to be a visor i don't know whether to make it elasticated or or tie it i think i might elasticate it because I, I wouldn't wear a hat myself but i would wear a visor because you know when you're reading in the sun even with sunglasses on it you, you just need to do that don't you so, so i thought we'd do that uh, do you think my innards would be well preserved? I love pickles. I reckon. I reckon so, Jill. I reckon. Um, right. So. So I've got four pieces. So two for each side of the zip. I'm just going to give those a quick press. Chris Ann wants to be buried with a banana. Me and my banana lie here. <laughs> um, on this end, which is the end with the end um, with the closed end of the zip, 
I'm going to fold this over and give it a press by about I don't know, quarter of an inch, as long as it's between quarter of an inch and half an inch, as long as it's all the same on all of them, that's fine. And that one, and again, there will be a video going on YouTube at five o'clock, showing you this all over again. So that's going to go at that end with the closed end of the zip. And we'll do this on all four pieces. like so Come on, that one sorry concentrating and not talking very much um, here lies Jackie a bobbin run out <laughs> I like that so that's that that's that that's that then I've also got, this is going to make the tab that goes on the end, I've got a two inch square. And hello Beatrice in Virginia. Let's fold the top over by about a quarter of an inch. And the bottom. And then I'm going to fold this right sides together and just sew down each side here, just over a quarter of an inch. So I've got just over an inch gap in the middle there. So let's do that now. Bring in the machine. And so. I've got my foot pedal in the wrong place. Come here. Oh, what's going on there? That's what we wanted. And again, sew down this side. Oh, come on. There you go. Look. I've been using me the machine. And they work differently. Then we'll take my tweezers if I can find them. You know what it's like when they're right here in front of me somewhere. There we go. And Patricia, my, my mum used to call her mobility scooter a bike. I'm going out on my bike. She was rubbish on the road. She, she never used to drive, so not very road aware. Right, so I'm just going to fold that over and turn this through. Whoops. Fold you over and turn through. Could have trimmed that back a little bit, couldn't I? And then I've got a nice little pouch which should just fit nicely over the end of my zip. So again, that's going to go over the closed end. I am going to trim that back a little bit, actually, because I think it will fit better. So that should fit in there rather nicely. So if you've got a little bit of um, glue from a glue stick, you could pop that on the end of the zip just to hold it in there while we sew it. It's not quite square. Oh, we need a... That's why I need a little bit of glue from a glue stick because it keeps popping out. But I haven't got a glue stick here. Um, oh, <laughs> I got a bit carried away, Kathleen. I've had irons go missing when I go to the TV studio, so I just wanted to make sure that everybody knew that that was my iron. Because um, the last one, the last one that went missing, I had written my name on it once, and it still went missing. So I thought, right. You're not going to get away with that. And anybody would know that that's my iron now, so that's uh, that's why I did that. Okay, and then I'm just going to sew around there in a box shape. Go on in. Stick a clip on it for now. Um, oh, Julie, you haven't missed very much. Sorry, I'm just about to sneeze. Um, 
Oh, some ability to see. A tooty scooty. <laughs> That's a good one. Right. Okay, Chris is off to buy some canvas. Enjoy. So, right, let's take that there. Now, be careful not to hit that metal bit. So, I've actually gone and covered it over now. So, I'm just going to wind this by hand just to make sure I've avoided it. Yeah. Okay, so let's just sew around in a square. And again, all explained on the video that's coming up in a bit. Um, without the chat. Another the stitch. And then back down there. And then we'll just go there. So there, so there I've got a nice little neat tab on one end of the zip. Then let's take these two pieces that I've just had here. So I'm going to fold over the end of the zip here and out of the way. And then this I'm going to sew, let's do it that way. Oh, come here, what am I doing? Right sides together. Somewhere in a moment there. No, the open end, what are you doing? Uh, right sides together to the edge of the zip, that, uh, to the edge of the fabric that isn't folded over. And I'm just gonna fold that out of the way and start about a quarter of an inch or just over a quarter of an inch from the end like that. So again, that's folded back edges together and we'll sew all the way down to this end which is folded and keep that folded back okay so I'm not going to pin it I'm going to move my needle over to the left hand side put this down there just help that with my tweezers again to hold it in place that's not my needle over to the left hand side. That's the needle over to the left hand side. That's better. Again, holding, holding that with a little bit of glue would be quite helpful. I've got my hands in front of what I'm doing there. Right, and then straight down the side of the zip. And remember to keep this end folded under that we iron to start with. Now I'm using a light coloured thread on a dark zip, so I don't want to sew beyond the edge of that fabric because you'll see the stitches on the zip. So imagine if I'd, if I'd gone over the edge when this is fitted, you'd see it on the right side. So just make sure you stop sewing just when you get to the edge there. Then we're going to take the second piece of fabric and sew that right sides together. I like to sew from the side that I've just sewn so I can see where I'm going. So line up the folded edges here, put those together and sew along that same stitch line. And again, I don't want to sew stitches onto the zip. It's not the end of the world if you do, but it just keeps it looking a little bit neater if you're using a different coloured thread that might stand out. And again, when you get to this end, I'm not going to sew over the metal part of the zip, but I'm going to leave the needle down, turn this around, and sew straight down. Okay. And then snip across the corner and the end of that zip can come off as well. There we go. And then this we can turn the right side out. Mm. 
and we'll give it a press. So just take my bits out of the way. <coughs> um, so those two bits together, that nice and square. And press. And then that's one half done, then we need to do exactly the same with the other half. Or at this point, I can top stitch all the way around. And then we'll do the same with the other half. So you can go back in the middle again, foot down. And around we go. Remember this is the end where the two pieces are folded over, so we want to keep those together. Get to the end there. And back down. Oh, the width of this, by the way, will depend on the size of the bag that you're making. Um, so this was two inches on the bag that I made it was one and a half inches but if you've got a very wide base on your bag maybe you've got a <coughs> excuse me a four inch base <coughs> gosh my voice is going um, you might need to make that a little bit wider your fabric width so if you've got a four inch um, square base on your bag you basically want this to be at four inches as well so you'll need to add an extra half inch for the seam allowance on each side but the seam allowance that you're using here will be taken up by the zip because your zip's going to be about an inch bit of maths for you um, so with your seam allowance fitting the zip into this then that takes away half an inch quarter of an inch from each side so all you need to add is an extra quarter of an inch on each one of these to make up that size so if you've got a four inch base on your bag then you would need four and a half inches Two and, two and a quarter inches on each side of this to make it the same size as the base on your back. That makes sense. Okay, so we've done the one side. Let's do the same with the other. So open end at this side. Let's fold that over and out of the way. Right sides together. I'm going to do it from this side so I can see what I'm doing and starting about quarter of an inch from the end I've done that wrong haven't I? I've done it again that there that way fold that over bit of glue if you've got your glue stick and start sewing just over a quarter inch from the end so that's going to be my quarter of an inch seam allowance so this is just like a scant quarter of an inch and I'll put a clip in that. Thank you, Louise. I'm glad you like them. I hope you find them useful. All right. So this time I'm going to move my needle to the right-hand side. Let me just move my bits out of the way. Because I like to sew from the side of the zip that I can actually see. I might need to go over that end bit and just get a little bit closer to the zip teeth. And again, make sure that the end of this is folded when I get to this end. And I'm going to stop just at the end of the fabric so I don't see stitches on the, on the zip tape. No, that's fine. And then the second piece of fabric right sides together over the top like to sew from the same side so this time i'm going to sew across the short edge and then all the way down <laughs> rita's been shopping thank you rita <laughs> just want to say as well how much appreciated you all are supporting our little website because it means that um we can keep going, we can keep bringing you fabulous things and we can keep doing these videos and keeps us, keeps us going. Saves me from having to get a job on creating craft. Okay, 
So I'm just sewing over the top. Not that they love me. Um, all the way down again. Back again on the 25th of June with our next show on Crate and Craft. And it will be, it's a Christmas, uh, the 12 days of Christmas, I think they're calling it. And we have um, a brand new quilt, Christmassy kind of, you know, the woodland um, panels that we did. It was the same artist, so it's got foxes, uh, it's got a fox and a bear and two other animals, can't remember. But it's all in pale blues this time. And it's a huge panel that will, if you just put backing fabric on it and some wadding, it's a quilt. Um, but of course you can make other things out of it as well. And we're going to have some new panels that I've been working on this morning with my doodles. Thank you, Lindsay. Right. So let's snip across that corner, snip off the end of the zip. I do have a bin down there, by the way. Don't just flick everything on the floor. And then let's turn this the right side out. And that will need ironing. Um, like so. I will get round to doing this round cushion at some point as well, Laura. I just didn't, didn't have a round cushion. I need to go and buy one. Uh, okay, and then we'll top stitch like before. Julie, we're waiting to hear back from um, from FedEx. So our best bet at the moment is still every, I'm afraid. I know they take a long time. I'm not going to use raw mail again for abroad and that includes Southern Ireland because somebody's just had an order of £75 not turn up with Royal Mail which I'm a bit annoyed about but um, we can get another order out to her but it's a lot of money to lose. Um, so as far as FedEx are concerned, filled in all the forms waiting to hear back from them. Um, so I shall let you know as soon as it's organised. I don't know how long it's going to take. I don't know how long these things take with them. But yeah, we will be, we'll be moving to FedEx for for those of you that aren't in the UK, see some, I, I don't get them, sometimes they just don't turn up and other times they do, like the lady that turned up today who has um, Giselle in Australia, she's got a couple of parcels going out and Diane in the States and Nancy yours is going out tomorrow can't remember there's somebody else in the states um sometimes they don't turn up at all and sometimes they turn up and they can't make us here at the door so they actually come around the back of the house and find us yes that's service anyway we'll, we'll get it sorted um now i can't forget the round cushion I, I just need to find one laura that is up to your standard it's got to be a perfect circle, hasn't it? With jam on top and a piping and a, and a zip in the back. Probably a concealed zip all the way around with piping as well, if I'm not mistaken, with a roof on. Um, I don't know, Chris. It's, it's, it's so annoying. Um, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't mind so much if the parcels came back, but they don't. We've, we've had so many parcels disappear over, over the years, and I, I had no idea what happens to them, but it's, it's an awful lot of money. Um, Oh, Helen, yes, it was yours, wasn't it? I, I just, I, I wish it, if it came back, they'd be fine. You know, it's inconvenient and very annoying, but it's, it's just when it, they just disappear. It's just so frustrating. Um, a V-shaped cushion cover. <laughs> I don't know, Jennifer, I've never made one. Um, no plans for holidays this year, Maria. Um, I might take a day or two off and do some gardening. Honestly, the grass, the grass on our patio. We've got a whole patio bit all the way around here. And the grass is about this tall. Um, I've got some nice plants underneath there, actually, but we're just having a time to, to weed them. I need a gardener. Yeah. Um, yes, I do, Nancy. <laughs> um, <laughs> and we do take a break. We have a smile and we do take a break. Um, I, I pointed that out to Kim the other day. I think I, I wrote on, because me and Kim were there doing orders the other day. Um, and I did write a note back to you as well. So yes, that's, that's very much appreciated. Nancy always tells us to, to, uh, to take a break on our orders. Anyway, here we go. So that's the panel. That's how it looks. And that is what is then sewn into your lining. 
um, like that. But again, to actually put it into the lining, I'll show you how to do that on the on the video in a bit. That'll be going up in 15 minutes. This one, I've used a different colour fabric at the top to the lining, which I thought looked quite nice as well. Um, well, it's the same fabric as the outer. Rather than have the lining like I do on a lot of bags going right up to the uh, to the top, I just thought it looked a little bit more professional to have the same outer fabric um, going into this and inside as well. Oh, Bobbin's good. Thank you, Liana. Bit jealous of the chickens today. <laughs> she um, she likes toast, and I had some toast for breakfast. And I put the butter on the toast, and I gave her a piece. And she she had me holding the toast as she was licking the butter off. If I'm not having this, you either have the toast, or I'm giving it to the chickens. So she walked away from it. So okay, I'll give it to the chickens. Have a little piece of toast. Um, so I opened the door, threw it out to the chickens, and she ran out and ate it. Anything to stop those chickens eating anything, basically. A crossbody camera bag with a zip fastening. That's a good idea. I shall have a I shall have a think. That might be quite complicated, but I shall have a think about that. Even signed for parcels get left on the doorstep. Really, Debbie? Um, yeah, Helen, I think it's more the butter than the toast. She wouldn't eat bread on its own. I'm glad you like it, Diane. I'm glad you like it. It's got a round base as well, so instead of um I do a lot of box bottoms, but this one's got darts in the bottom. But again, I'll show you how to do that in, in the video. I know, Christine, she's funny. Iron's going off, Laura. OK. Um, <laughs> Kim had a, a parcel from Amazon delivered and put in a safe place. It was, it was very funny, actually, because she has... Uh, Kim lives in um, one of these apartments in London where you go up some steps and you go down to houses and they say with, with the big railings and everything that, that look quite grand um, and there's only it's only two story uh, or two flats there um, so you've got up some steps and then you ring a buzzer so if it's a Porsche then you ring a buzzer to go in and everything but um, she wasn't in leaving a safe place it was a box like this big and he'd put it under the doormat which was this big and taken a photograph of it. I know there's probably nowhere else he could leave it in, didn't want to take it away, but it did look funny. But how he thought that that, um, that small doormat would hide a big parcel, I don't know. Um, I uh, sent a parcel to my friend in France in the Destinaire address and sent it to myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're surprised when it arrived, Julie. <laughs> oh, what have I got? What have I got? Oh, that's funny. I've just bought one of those for my friend. Oh. <laughs> um, I don't know where the mouse is today. What's he done with it? Oh, what is that? <laughs> uh, camera bag. Yeah, okay. I shall have a. I shall put some thought into it. Maybe use some bosal for that one and make it nice and padded. I shall. I shall have a think. Um, oh, Maddie, by the way, I want to push. Gary made her a swing. Um, her dress is the secondary project. On, for the Half Yard Club, so that'll be out on the 15th. Oh, has anybody, has anybody made the craft bag yet? Shall we have a look? We've got loads of time, haven't we? We've got loads of time. If I move myself over here, and I go up here and do that, and then sign in. Oh, am I signed in? I can't be signed in. I should refresh, and we'll have a look. No, I'm not signed in, of course I'm not. Uh, hi Jackie, are you baking today? That's Nancy's sister, Jackie. Uh, email address is that one, password is that, sign in and let's have a look. Sewing projects, view project. Oh, here we go. <coughs> Excuse me. This is Gillian. Oh, fab! Oh, look at that. Gorgeous fabric. Is that canvas? That looks lovely. Oh, and she's got, oh, yeah, she's got the PVC pockets and the poppers. Oh, that, that's, um, those are uh, cro cro crocodiles, aren't they? I've got one of those as well. Those are really nice eyelets. Um, and there's, oh, you have pockets on the inside. Oh, well done. That is lovely. Fabulous. Love to see your pictures like that. I didn't think we'd see any yet. Um, with this project, by the way, there is a video for that. So if you have looked at it before and thought, oh, that was a little bit complicated, it makes it easier, doesn't it, when you can, we can follow a video. Uh, Carol's download, oh, that went very dark. 
Tara's downloaded everything for the bag, just busy. Wall building outside, just what I need. Thank you, Caroline. No, Eliana, that's uh, it's a half yard club project, I'm afraid. Have a word with your dad. Um, Trace used to have a metal carrier in the back of my scooter, but it fell out. Oh. Oh, sorry, talking, talking to somebody else. Um, oh, have they looked? Do you know, you know more about this club than I have. They've taken the limit of photos on, on the Half Yard Club now, so that is great. Oh, fabulous. So I think they tell me. Um, no, I knew they were working on that one. They're also working on um, having a live feed on the website, um, in which case they should be able to do it because I've given them all, all my login details for all of the software that I use, so it should be okay. Um, it's it's quite complicated to use an American company um, to stream through. So they said they've got all the details. They're just trying to get the stream to go out on the Half Yard Club website. And when they do, the sew alongs will be on the website. So you don't have to be on Facebook. You don't have to be on YouTube. You can actually go just to the website and, um, and log in and sew along there, which I think is going to benefit a lot. Because not all, not all members use Facebook and YouTube, which is why we've never had a Facebook group, because there's actually quite a lot of people that don't want to use Facebook. So, so that's uh, that's why. Just in case anybody was wondering, um, Helen's making a smaller version of your laptop bag for walking my dog. Oh, putting the poop bag opening into it. Nice idea. Oh, Janet's birthday tomorrow. Happy birthday for tomorrow. Um, love the bag. Thank you. Oh, good. I'm glad you like it, Marianne. Oh, hi, Lorna. Love your scissors. Where can I get a pair like that? Which ones have I got? Oh, these ones are Fiskars. We haven't got these on the website. These are an old pair that I've had for ages. Um, Amazon, I think they came from. I get everything from Amazon. Um, yeah, Carol, I've, I've been pushing for it for a long time, but they've um, the web designers, we've eventually got around to trying to sort it out. So it must be doable. It must be doable. If I can do all of this, I'm sure they can put it on the website. Um, Oh, lots of happy birthdays, that's nice. For Janet. Mouse arm is on your left by the iron. Mouse arm. Mouse arm. It's on the left by the iron. Oh. <laughs> that's PJ. <laughs> that's little PJ there, look. How did you know that was a mouse arm? Honestly. <laughs> um... Gosh, no, give it a go. You get a month for free. You get a whole month for free. Um, so when you go on, and you know, I'm probably shooting myself in the foot here, but you can go on there for nothing um, and have 48 projects to work on for a whole month, plus the block of the month. And we're on our fifth year, so there's almost we've almost finished. Well, we're halfway through the fifth block of the month, which never come down. So th there's so much on there. If you, um, yes, he did, Blodwin. He did make the swing. She's she's perching on there quite precariously at the moment, so I'm, I'm not going to push her too hard. Um, you'll need to fill in all of your details. If I just show you again, let me know if she falls off, won't you? Um, I shan't fill in all the details now, but if I log out. So when you go on, I mean, have a look. There's no harm in having a look because I'm, I'm not signed in here. This is what anybody can see. So there's me introducing the whole thing. <coughs> And then you can see all the projects. <coughs> Gosh, dear, I'm just going to have a drink of water. Just excuse me a minute. So if you go to sewing projects, you can see what's on there before, before you join. So if you scroll all the way through these 48 projects, in fact, there's more than 48, so I'll explain in a minute, and you don't see something you like, I don't imagine that everybody likes everything on there, but there's such a wide variety of different projects. I'm sure there's something for everybody. Um, I say more than 48 because sometimes these come down after two years, but sometimes we just jolly well bring one back again. Um, so when you look at the dates of some of these, they are actually quite quite old. Um, can't see any at the moment. So we're going back to 2021 now. So um, oh, that's the block of the month from 2019. Um, but yeah, so you, you've got all of these you can work with. So anybody can look at the projects. If you are interested and you want to sign up, look at them, there's loads of them. This isn't, you know, th there's two years, constantly two years worth of projects now. 
if you want to join up, go to join my club. And again, more information about that one to be sure. Join up today and then just fill in all of your details. I'm not going to do all of this now. Um, agreed terms and conditions. Please tick the newsletters box because with the newsletters box, um, you get two newsletters a month and it will tell you which projects are coming down, what the new ones are, and if there's any special offers or competitions or anything like that. That's all in your newsletter. If you don't have the newsletter, for any reason. Uh, let's just go back to the beginning. It will be here. So it is on the website. So you can read the newsletter uh, even if you haven't received it for whatever reason. But we've got competitions on there so you can win books. Um, these are the projects that you need to download. Um, my calendar's on there as well. Um, that coffee must be cold by now. That coffee is very cold actually. Coffee? That'd be nice, thank you. I'll just put that there. Your mat. Ow, ow, ow. Thank you. Have you been telling everybody we don't go anywhere? Did you no. tell them all about uh, Blackpool next week? Blackpool? Yeah, we're going to Blackpool on a coach, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> I thought that's why you backed your bikini. Is it my bikini? Yeah. <laughs> no, I said we're not going on holiday this year. What are you doing? Nice when she's moving, isn't it? I keep giving her a push, I'm just trying to knock her off. Yes, tell everybody we're going to Blackpool. Well, you're not going to Blackpool. You're not treating me to a coach trip to Blackpool. Have you deserve booked a coach trip to Blackpool without me? You deserve it. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I'm not going on holiday this year. Anyway, um, Carol says, there's something for everyone, and given the price of patterns, you only mean to you to club the subscription. Thank you, Carol. Um, Christy, <coughs> <coughs> sorry, there's water. Um, Jane says I wouldn't bother with Blackpool. I could use both or to make the craft bag. Um, I wouldn't hire him because well, you could, but trim it back to the seams because you've got a lot of um, binding to go around there. So if you're if you've got bosal in both sides and your fabric and your lining fabric and then the binding is just just very thick to sew through so trim it back to the um, trim it back to the seams sarah will come to blackpool with you no backseat stuff all right sarah um the mouse you just see the top of her head this time nancy um anyway what's talking about Oh yeah, the um, the patterns. Um, I mean, what, what's a pattern on average? If you download a pattern, what three ninety nine, four ninety nine, maybe more than that. Clubs five ninety nine a month. And I, I did specifically choose a club to match my top, Janet. Yes. Um, and considering you get maybe two patterns, normally one. I, I'm, I'm not a fan of um, charging you for a pattern that's a square or a rectangle because it's a waste of ink and it's a waste of paper. Um, and you can just draw a square or a rectangle. So if it's only squares and rectangles, you don't have a pattern. There is a pattern for this one because you've got a rounded top, but all of the other bits, the base and everything, don't have one. Um, so yeah, you probably get two patterns a month, definitely one pattern a month, and the video, and the block of the month. I think 5 99 is pretty good. I think so. And we haven't put the price up in five years. And we don't have a VIP section which was talked about right at the beginning, and I absolutely said no because everybody's VIP, not having that. Uh, a lot of the cat is telling me it's tea time again, sat on the tablet. <laughs> um, oh, yes, Diane, thank you. And you get 10% discount on the Debbie Shaw website. <laughs> I, I have spoken to a few of you that have never made anything from the Half Yard Club, but you spend a lot of money on fabric, and the 5 99 a month was more than the, um, it was less than a 10% discount that they were earning. So if that's, that's why you're joining the club, that's fine by me. Um, I haven't been to Blackpool for donkey's years, Dominica. Um, and in fact, the kids, the kids were little when we went. And uh, I mean, it was very nice. Um, but there was a lot of uh, stag parties and Hindus and Tyler, who'd be, I don't know, four or five years old at the time, just, there's so many policemen in Blackpool. 
or police women in Blackpool. Those police women wear very short skirts, don't they? Very short skirts. Thank you, Susan. Um, got a, a pack last week of twenty pounds. Is that a discount? Don't forget to buy some Blackpool rock. Oh, I'm not a fan of rock. Not with these teeth. Uh, right. Yeah, a birthday present might be nice, Leanne. We do gift certificates. Just drop him a hint that we do gift certificates. <laughs> okay, right. Well, that video should be going live about now. So if you wanted to have a, a look and see how to make said bag with recessed zip, that should be live on YouTube right now. Um, dress patterns are roughly £15. <sighs> Can't remember the last time I bought one, but yeah. See, so yeah, £5.99 is pretty good, isn't it? We'll never be rich. Never be rich. Um, anyway, going to pop off. I shall see you again on Saturday. Don't know what we're making. Um, but I'll have a think about something. Um, and enjoy the rest of your week. Hopefully weather's going to be as nice as it's looking as it is outside now. It's just be nice to sit outside without a coat on, wouldn't it? Nice to do some gardening without freezing. That's the clock striking on the church. Um, thank you, Susan. Yeah, and uh, any any size of bag as well. Obviously, you can adapt it to any size of bag. I think the tote bags and shoppers are the easiest ones because it doesn't need a flap or any of the fastenings and stuff like that. So if you've got a plain bag or you're making a plain bag from scratch, it's quite an easy technique, an easy way to do that. I think I need to rest my voice, don't I? I think I need something with honey in it. Um, oh, thank you, Thera. Thera? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Sarah. I should see you Saturday. <laughs> uh, bye, Shelley. Bye, uh, Bloodwind. Bye, Biz. Think I better go. Um, and Christine Dominica. See you soon. Ginny's and early misters. You have just about misters because we're going now. So enjoy the rest of your week. Thanks for joining me today. And um, have a lovely session. We're all bunch. But okay, okay. We'll see you again next week. Thanks for gin. Maybe need a gin. <laughs> Oh, hi, Carrie. Morning in Alaska. We're off now. A hot toddy. I've still got some work to do. I'm, I'm actually designing some um, some panels. Um, you know, the ones that I did last year with the beach huts and the bird houses, keeping along that house theme. It's going to be gingerbread houses for the Christmas event on Crate and Craft. So if, I've, I've done three of the panels already. If the next three panels you see were all wobbly lines, you know that it, it was gin and, and not coffee. <laughs> Anyway, I'm going. You go first. Go on, you hang up first. You hang up first. I'll see you Saturday. Bye bye. Gary, I'll have a gin. <laughs>